Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for uh, Saturday, April 9th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you, as always, this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So just take what resonates. And as well, thank you in advance, of course, for your love and support by liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. But more importantly, the overall message I channeled for this Saturday brave soul brave soul so let's begin we're going to keep it simple and just pull one oracle for each quarter of the day from the energy oracle deck and then we'll further clarify and speak upon each uh, section of the day with the small everyday tarot okay for my beautiful souls for saturday what do we have for saturday they're saying, if you don't get it right, just do it again. If you don't get it right, just do it again. Keep that in mind throughout this day. So we have three. We're going to pull the last one right from the top of the deck. Okay. Actually, we're going to switch out this <clears throat> last one. Bear with me. We're going to pull it right from the middle. Okay. So we're beginning this day and uh, spread with Angel of Strength naturally coinciding with the overall message talking about how it's a day that reminds uh, oneself it reminds you how brave you truly are when moving forward from all you've overcome all you've uh, been through but more so moving forward it reminds you of the strength that you have within i feel like you could but excuse me you could potentially have to dig for that inner strength uh to begin this day or just to overcome a small obstacle um within this part of your day the nine of cups and the nine of wands you're gonna wake up feeling quite uh burnt out okay a bit of a wounded warrior vibe if you will feeling as if you're reminded yeah okay you're burnt out yeah you've been going through a lot you've been working a ton for the majority of us but it just feels as if there's a lot more to accomplish to achieve on the horizon so it's not a time to give up it's not a time to yeah, sure, you can find time to balance things out and relax. Um, balance is the key to life is what they're saying. But it is a, a beginning to the day where you have to sort of keep in mind a wish fulfillment you've been working towards you desire so badly. You can see in this imagery here, yeah, you're being reminded how brave you truly are, how strong you truly are um, throughout this day in general, but at this point in the day, but you're just not really feeling in the mood for one reason or another. Um, even if your energy is, um, is decent is how it's coming through. Anyways, I just feel as if you're pushed to think about what you want to invest in moving forward. Um, a new job that's very close on the horizon that you already received, or you maybe intuitively know you're going to receive, or it could be, um, did I say already uh, an investment that you wish to embark upon? Either way, uh, however that page of pentacles pertains to you. They're trying to uh, keep that in your mind or bring it back to one's mind to re-motivate oneself um, or to keep that motivation alive, to move forward with the utmost confidence, um, bravery, and just to remind oneself again what you contain, what you're made out of, right? It doesn't mean you have to go 24-7, but it's just a, a I want to say brief reminder that uh, you're not somebody who's giving up, period. Okay. Um, they're saying you're made of a lot. Don't forget that. Eight of Swords here for the woman holding a coin. And I did see the path card, the temple path card, um, with the split deck before I shuffled, as well as the all tied up card. So it could be a day where you're reminded where you're all tied up, restricted to an extent, and feeling as if you deserve uh, a level of freedom and um, contentment along your individual path involving a spark of change in one way shape or form and i thought of that when i saw the eight of swords the all tied up card being very similar in energy if you will but the second quarter of the day is all about you making your way to wrap up this day and thinking about your money presenting work doing so successfully keeping things simplistic probably for a lot of us thinking about how we maybe overspent recently um, and how we're going to adjust things moving forward out of respect for our future, that uh, comfort we truly desire, the stability, the goals, right, that you have in mind, um, that you so badly want to achieve, 
for a lot of you, uh, or some of you rather, a comfort of an animal will come in handy at this point in the day. But it's a Saturday of growth, okay? It's a Saturday of bravery nonetheless, but you're reminded in the midst of working, presenting work, or even reviewing, looking back at being proud of oneself or critiquing oneself for the work you produced previous to the Saturday. Um, and again, having to do with your money as well. You can't help but think about where you're limited, okay? Being pushed to recognize you don't want to limit oneself moving forward or trap oneself even longer than need be in a situation that's not perfect moving forward um, by not being strategic as i also did see the strategy card at the bottom of the deck when i switched out the last card okay if they're saying now your pride will get in the way if you allow it to something to just keep in mind as you uh trickle forward healer of the ages to begin the second half of the day and so I really feel like you're being pushed to recognize that you have healing energy in a lot of ways, or you could be benefiting and or benefiting from someone else's healing energy through a tarot reading, through um, speaking to somebody, interacting with them, hanging out, you name it. And I was just drawn to the star card here at the bottom of the deck, speaking upon healing, uh, making a wish, being aligned with the angel of strength card and doing so uh, with a, keeping the amount of strength you have within you alive and in one's mind to recognize that at times you do have to go through a level of healing right it's part of life everyone goes through a bunch of bs here and there um they're saying life wouldn't be exciting if you didn't anyways it would be boring but uh, to go through this little bit of healing in one way shape or form even if it's by oneself right a level of meditation uh, implementing self-care you name it uh, they're saying it could even be a workout However you end up finding the universe assisting you or assisting oneself with healing, it's to regain that level of strength. They want me to show both of these, okay? They're saying as well, seeing someone become a healer of the ages or just feeling as if you're becoming one, one, uh, becoming one uh, within your own situation. Either way, the main point of this part of the day is to heal a bit to take a deep breath, regain that inner strength, to move forward uh, to the best of your ability, okay? No one wants to be hindered or create certain blockages. And I feel like as well, for one reason or another, you're being noticed in this quarter of the day. Uh, could have a lot to do with your work or just, for the innate ability to just stop oneself or just implement a level of balance and to heal when you need to. Interesting that my voice went up when I said heal. Anyways, they're saying we're emphasizing. Anyways, moving right along. The uh, hanged man coming out into my lap. Um, they're saying pushing a realization into your lap at this point in the day in the midst of the healing. It's gonna differ from case to case, but I truly feel like you're pushed to recognize with two threes now the amount of success you're meant to achieve moving forward. I feel like you'll even recognize there's a level of celebration you should be implementing or feeling inclined to move towards wrap oneself up in for all that you've achieved recently and i feel like a change you're making throughout uh, the last couple of days or throughout this day is going to lead you towards even more career and financial success which is just absolutely amazing uh, they're saying so pat oneself on the back all right and moving forward it could even be a focus on two or three mainly three other individuals who are close to you or should be interesting so yeah there definitely um is the potential to have a level of alone time hermit mode at this point in the day spirituality being on your mind or brought to your attention yeah that's too much um very interesting we're taking two of which five of cups and justice to finish up the day to speak upon happy family and i did have contract before for the fourth quarter and they were like, eh, we're going to switch it out for another one from the middle of the deck. And here we have happy family. So focus on your family, even if it's just soul connections, your soul family, your soul tribe. Some of you thinking about acquiring a new soul tribe in a different location down the line along your individual temple path. But I do feel as if uh, to finish up the day, you're communicating or thinking about your family in one way, shape or form. Um, it could have something to do with social media for a lot of you, but I do feel as if you're thinking about how somebody in your family expects the worst or you expect the worst when it comes to family matters. 
Um, you may expect somebody down the line who you're connected to within that family of yours um, who you do care about, but you expect them to be very negative or pessimistic in one way, shape or form, right? And I do see you viewing them as a brave soul and they view you as a brave soul. But all the meanwhile, it's you just expecting oneself to get a level of justice um, and even wanting them to get their justice in a lot of ways. Um, some of you desiring just a level of justice and contentment and abundance for your family in general. However this works for you, it feels like you're thinking about a woman holding a coin, okay? Um, so this could definitely be someone in touch with their feminine side in your family, or that could represent you wanting to benefit your family with your finances, your career, your success. But I just feel like it's a day where you're uh, learning a lot about oneself and those who are closest to you, but you're also finishing up doing a little bit too much thinking, right? Try to simplify your mind as you wrap up the day, as I don't feel like it's you're gonna come to a ton of conclusions at this point. Um, Potentially you could, but I feel like it's going to benefit you to go through some more healing, to allow those swords to fall before you go on uh, a new adventure, a leap of faith, as you also can't help but think about what you truly desire, wanting to just transform your world for the better. And you're being reminded to have an immense amount of patience. Um, and the time will come when you can do what's right for you, to just recognize that when you are ready for completion, when you're uh, destinedly guided to or destinedly meant to complete something and move towards the new, take a leap of faith, there's going to be so much happiness in your situation. And it's a day where once again, you're reminded you are just one brave soul. So heal, relax, accomplish, and move forward with the utmost confidence. Okay. So I hope this was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.